when a student comes in front of a master teacher and says, I am here to learn, then the learning often takes a turn in which doesn't appeal to them. <laughs> but what would they know? What the teacher knows. What do they know of long outcomes and long journeys forward? Only short, immediate gratification. And what do you think a student who comes with an idea of what initiation is? Well, you would think if they already knew it, they would have initiated themselves. <laughs> Preconceived knowledge is worth nothing. Preconceived information is worth nothing to a being like me. But if it must be on your terms, then how limited are you and what will be the outcome? That it's satisfied your thought of how it should be. Now what? Now what? So, initiation in these hallowed halls and on that great field and where your tents are and the great labyrinth and the forest are all places of initiation. And what is that simply? to learn knowledge you didn't know before. But to learn it, not that it can vaporize as philosophy. Because you may be impressive to some people, but you're not, you're not anywhere impressive to my students who are mastering arts. They can master their mind in front of you. Philosophy pales in that. So, that in this knowledge, that the knowledge itself has to be understood to a deepening aspect of each student. That in the only way understanding comes is through the long journey of initiating each aspect of what is being taught that the student gets the whole plethora of the knowledge through experience. And why is that important? All along building this relationship here, why is that important? Because then the master teacher can teach them extraordinary knowledge. And the initiation will be the same Whatever we put here, whether it is what one needs presently, what one needs to be relieved of presently, indeed, what you got to have done correctly, you get it. It's the same procedure. God doesn't move. This is the one creating the picture through streams of consciousness in the brain relative to desire. How can you desire what you can't even think? How much of the unknown, my beloved people, do you not know? How much do you not know? Let's take a look at your life, shall we? Let's take a look at your life, shall we? Well, you don't know just a whole lot. So how do you ask the great question? Where do you get the knowledge to ask it? You can only say so much of the time, you know, I want to ascend, because basically that means that I have no control over this life, that I've lost the meaning. I think I figured everything out. You are so far wrong. It's in. Embarrassing. Never show your stupidity like that again. <laughs> Never again.
You haven't even begun to live. Because you haven't even begun to change to live. You haven't even begun to really put into application what you came here to learn underneath me. You haven't even begun to do. You're still tethered to your past. You're still tethered to an inability to focus. You're still tethered to your emotions. You're still tethered to a thinking process that is out of control. That you don't even have control of. That's just hardwired into your brain. We haven't even begun to change. And what is change all about? The incorporation of a brand new knowledge initiated through that you have the truth that it is possible so you accept it and now you go to your life and you apply that knowledge into your life indeed into your life